Sports. Okay, now summer is just two weeks away. Really, it feels like sometimes it's here, but then it's gone again for a day, isn't it? And we are really looking forward to some sunshine, but we do need to be sun smart. Our diet and fitness guest has some great advice to avoid damage to our skin. Welcome back to the Harvey Normal Lounge, Dr. Francis Pitsillis. Good morning. Morning, Mel. Lovely to have you here. First up, what damage can the sun cause? Well, I think that if you're aware of um, staying looking good, um, that might motivate you. Um, it does age the skin and it does. Um, oh, yes, is, it does. This is a photo of the ultimate aging mm. of what the sun does to your skin. So you really um, need to be aware of that. And also, we have a typical photo of the sort of sun damage that the sun can give in fair skin people who get these solar keratoses, these scaly areas. So it does age and then sun damage the skin and of course ultimately it can cause um, skin mm. cancer. But we do need the vitamin D though, don't we? Yes, we do. Um, so you want to be sensible about going out in the sun and you want to still have some sun exposure because if you don't, you don't get your vitamin D, which is important for preventing 17 cancers and works on more than a thousand genes. So what would you do? Well, you, um, if you're very um, fair skinned like that man there in the photo, you're going to burn very easily, especially if you're a redhead. Mm. And so you're going to be careful about avoiding the sun between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Um, and you must not burn. Um, but you still get cumulative damage with sun. Um, and so what you'd probably want to do is expose large areas for a brief period of time and then cover up. And always remember that your year-round sun will damage your face, neck, mm. chest and back of hands. So you need to be more diligent yes. about putting your sunblock there. Quite often there. people don't think about their back of hands, do they? Yeah. Um, obviously skin cancers uh, and melanomas are a concern as well. Absolutely. Now, melanomas are the pigmented skin cancers right. and there's a photo here. Now the only thing to remember about any mole is to get a mole checked if it's new or if there's any change in the mole. Now this is a basal cell carcinoma. One of the two pigmented uh, non-pigmented, sorry, non-pigmented skin cancers. And this next one is a squamous cell carcinoma. Now you don't have to remember what these all look like. Just remember if there's a new mole or a change in an existing mole, mm. get it checked. Or like me, I go once a year and get it checked because I have had melanoma when I was young. Yes. Quite now, early. if you've got a family history of melanoma, mm. then the relatives could be at risk. You get your yearly skin check, especially if you've ever had a melanoma or a skin cancer. Your GP can treat some of these um, with removal, liquid nitrogen and special Absolutely. creams. Now well, let's move on to the fact that um, we've got our skin sort of, we're looking after that under control with the sun, but we're going to be shedding our clothes and showing a lot more skin in the summer too. So what can be done for cellulite? Well cellulite is something that you need to manage because it's not curable, um, but it does tend to be associated with with hormonal change. And this is a mild form of cellulite yeah, that, only show, mild. that only shows when you do that to your skin, and that's called type one. And then there's type two and type three. So to manage that, you need to remain slim, uh, work out at the gym, because when you make more muscle, you'll make more testosterone, because it's got to do with loss of testosterone. Okay. And if you need to, you can see a doctor who can help your hormones. Okay. I just want to quickly move on to uh, fat reduction therapies. What's the story with them? Right. Now, um, apart from surgery and liposuction, we now have in our community the freezing one, and the radio frequency one. Now the two that have been documented to definitely work are the cool sculpt freezing mm -hmm. and the true sculpt 3D radio frequency. Okay, so one does it through freezing and the other one does it through heating. Wow, okay, and they actually work? They do work, they're both clinically found to work, um, but they both need eight weeks before you see a result and 12 weeks. For okay, the it's not gonna result. happen overnight. Hey Francis, it's been a pleasure having you in the studio, as always. My pleasure. Great advice, you can go to the website on screen right now if you'd like more advice on today's topic or appearance medicine in general.